guys welcome back to my kitchen now i have a pot behind me in which i'm doing some cucumber pickles and now i am getting ready to um season two chickens that i will be sticking in the oven i'm kind of doing a um jerk chicken and i'm doing two because i have two chickens right why not put them both in the oven at the same time? Save energy, right? And time. I have already cleaned my chickens and I have a mixture here. Now I have half of my favorite jerk sauce to which I have added some shredded onions and shredded garlic. And I have added also some of my ground Spices. Now I have videos how I do all of that on the channel so you can check that out. So now I am ready to get my chicken in this roasting pan. I will be putting them together in the same pan. Makes my job easier not only for attending to the chicken while it's been done but also for cleaning up. Now I'm just going to put my seasoning all over the chicken. I'm going to leave a little for later. Halfway I will put some more seasoning on. But then that's it. Easy chicken. The seasoning is on the chicken. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip. Get some of the seasoning that's in the pan and put on this side because I like to start my chicken skin down and then halfway I turn it skin up and finish it skin up. So I have turned this one skin down and I'm going to turn this one skin down also. And just finish massaging <laughs> the seasoning in to the chicken. Then I'll just put them to sit for a couple hours or so just to let them marinate a little before I get them in the oven. That's it. Easy, easy chicken. All season. I'll let it sit for a bit before I get it in the oven. I warmed the oven up to 375 degrees and then placed the roasting pan inside. I like to start roasting my chicken with the pan covered. This way all the steam is locked inside and helps to speed up the cooking process. Plus the chicken stays very moist and succulent. The chicken has been in the oven now for about 45 minutes and it is just about time to check in and to flip the chicken skin side up so it can finish off with the skin side um, getting some color. Now it's time to baste the chicken with the rest of the jerk sauce. pretty soft right now so I won't cover them back I just leave them open so they can start getting some color the chickens are finished so I'm gonna pull them and then I'm gonna use what's left in the roasting pan to make gravy for some rice and lentils brown rice and lentils
So I've scraped the residue into the saucepan. And what I'm going to do now is just get a little flour in the jar I use the seasoning from to thicken the gravy. To thicken the gravy! Just a little molasses. This is it, my friends. Dinner is served. My easy pan oven jerk chicken with easy gravy, steam whole carrots and snow peas from my garden with rice and lentils. I do have a video for the rice. Um, I think it's the rice and peas but i link it for you guys so you can check it out thank you so much for watching for subscribing liking sharing and yeah please for commenting leave your thoughts below the in the comment section and if you have not yet subscribed go ahead and hit that subscription button and remember to hit the notification bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. You take care now and I'll see you in the next video.